Yo, what up, though? It's your boy, DME. All right, boys, let's get into this. Jack Boy Main is back. He is back, causing havoc on the battle rap community, speaking a bunch of nonsense. Again, are we are we shocked? Are we shocked? No, I'm not. I'm not. Listen, let's, let's quick, quick clip. Quick clip. Whoop your ass straight up. Listen, man. <laughs> this is what I want y'all to understand. Everything's mine. Everything's mine. Bitches can't rap with me. This is a fact. You ain't seen one battle where motherfuckers just clearly out rap Jack. You can't call it. You can't call it. You can't call it. And tell me, why well, I get smoked in a battle, but I still got quotables all through TikTok from the shit, right? Okay. TikTok? Yes, your other favorite battle rapper don't do that. They don't do that. Shit, even when they lose, they can make up. They don't do that. I do that. When I lose, it's the biggest thing happening in the world. Listen, man, this is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. Everything mine. I'm coming to take everything back. On, 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 dang. On, bring I'm coming to take everything I'm back. Dang. There's no nothing. There's no sitting back. Oh, I used to be cool with. Fuck that. He said the nigga out rapped me. No, he out threw a chain. Still wasn't mine, but. Like, be real with yourself. I don't even need you to be real with me. I'm okay. Just be real with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, just keep it a buck, nigga. Him rapping was not fire. The chain was fire. Be honest. <laughs> with yourself, though. Not with me. I'm fine. You know what I'm saying? That's the new shit. Tell people be honest with they self, not with you. Because when they honest with they self, then they can be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Niggas lie to they self before they lie to you. Understand that. They got to convince they self before they convince you. I think I broke my chair last night. Like, listen, man. Okay, Jack boy, shut up! Shut up! All right, first of all... All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made you, I made you guys just do that. All right, listen. Um, basically, uh, to sum it up, what he came back and said that basically Gnome X is a fake Gnome. Jay the Nightwing and uh, um, uh, 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 Fonz are on a fake gnome. He was on the real gnome. He was on a real gnome where he got body bagged by John John. He said that he wrote his rhymes for John John on the way to the venue, in the car, on the way to the venue. That's how serious he took his gnome battle against John John, that he wrote them in the car, on the way to the venue. This is his words, not mine. OK, ridiculous. All right. And and I don't blame Smack at this point. It, these guys, they don't take their career serious. They don't care about nothing. They think everything's a joke. They think they can live off their 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 mouth and, and them talking and and their bullying tactics and all this stuff twerks the same way. Thinks he could just bully his way into the thing. And when he screws up, he tries to act like a victim and he starts crying and starts going on 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 on. Uh, Twitter and apologizing for the hundredth time now and looking all sad and depressed like like this big sad bear that he is all right even though he's been he's been talking so much trash to swamp disrespecting that man at every single corner all right and now it's like oh my god you know didn't prepare either needs more time doesn't care about the battlers he's battling doesn't care about their preparation and what they got to go through and, and that they're the prepared when they get there all right doesn't care about that. Didn't care about Danny Myers. Shows up to the Danny Myers battle unprepared. Tells Danny, I need another day. He gives him another day. All right. He brings a crowd with him because he needs a crowd. Moves move, moves the event from one day to another because he needed a crowd. This is getting, this is this is out of hand. It's getting ridiculous. And Jack Boy Maine is no different. Ace Amin is no different. They are goonies for life. They are goonies for life. They are goonies for life. And they will never not be goonies. They will never not be goonies. I don't know why they broke up. This is absolutely ridiculous. They should have stayed together. They're all one and the same. Every single last one of them think the same. And I'm not talking about the, the add-on goonies like the glue easies and them. I'm talking about the core goonies. And even Ryder, I wouldn't even put into that, that, uh, Meant that that Ryder just uh, Ryder is more like a, a trapper now, right, man? Yeah, I'm I'm talking about Ace, Jack, and Twerk. Those three, okay. Ace, Jack, and Twerk. They're, 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 they should form the new Goonies, all right, or something. I don't know. I don't know. So it just it's just insane. And and he went on to say, what else did he say? He said that um, I had tweeted out a, a great recap. Oh, he said that if he ever sees Rome DMV, he's going to going to. Him. He's going to he's going to end him. All right. If he, he has real beef with Rome DMV, if he ever sees him, that's what he's going to do. All right. He's taking him out. He's taking him out. Says it live on Instagram. Hey, why not? Why not? I know we're smart. Um, <laughs> are we, I guess he was being hyperbolic. I know. I guess we'll go. We'll run with that. Um, so I don't know what his beef is with Rome, but, you know, whatever. Um, 
Uh, and and the whole thing about not preparing. Oh, he says that everyone just ha is stealing his style. So basically, we, if you, if you guys is, uh, in my last video, or I don't know if it's the last one, I don't know when I'm uploading this, but I heard we, we heard K Shine say drugs has one of the best pens in battle rap. He said drugs has the best one of the best pens in battle rap. Jack Boy thinks he has one of the best pens in battle rap. This is where we're at. Twerk thinks he has one of the best pens in battle rap. Twerk literally said in this K Shine face off ordeal that um, he like he doesn't write random bars all his bars are tailored to his opponent what the heck is he talking about are these are these people living in, in delusion land like i don't understand anymore where what we're dealing with here i'm completely lost for words on what's actually happening here okay who's stealing your style jack boy like what do you mean what do you mean what do you mean he's stealing his style what like uh, i guess he's back he's back and and he said url called him for a battle now you know what's crazy is this is right after smack Goes in on his, um, I can't eat that season two rant and says that he's going to start docking people for, for, um, for choking. Um, Jack boy, you choked in your last two, you are a battle, not slightly, badly. The worst chokes in history, John, John and franchise, bro. Some of the worst chokes in battle rap history came from you. You would have owed smack money after both those performances of smacks being serious here. So I really don't know anymore on what's really happening here. I'm lost for words. I'm confused. I, 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 I this is why this will never change, man. Because they can get, they live in delusion land. Him and Twerk and Ace live in delusion land, bro. They don't, they, there's no reality. There's no, there's no basis of anything they say. They just talk. They literally just talk just to talk, man. All right. Nothing I heard in this, in this thing here made any like okay when when there, there's something to be said about humbling yourself right and, and and realizing when you know you you made a mistake and if you actually came back like listen guys i, I screwed up against john john this and that i'm working on my craft it's not gonna happen again i'm not going to under prepare i'm not gonna write my rhymes on the way to the, the uh the battle anymore no instead he comes back and he brags about it he brags that he wrote his rhymes on the way there he brags that he has the greatest pen in the world and no one can out rap him no one can do this no one can do that what is it like like wh what what are we doing here when is there ever going to be a level of awareness this is insane and people need to start holding these guys accountable and, and i feel like the wind is changing there's, there's a there's a new People are starting to, to finally understand what's happening here with these guys because, you know, you can only spit in, 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 in the people's face so many times before they start fighting back. Smack, fight back, man. I don't believe you should be docking people for choking. I believe you should be docking their next battle or not booking them ever again. That's how you get rid of this. That's how you stop this 100%. All right, because if you're going to do the whole I'm docking you if you choke situation, you're just going to get we're going to usher in the mixtape error. They're all going to come in with a, they're going to have mixtape bars um, locked in. All right. And if they're real rappers, they will always have some bars in their head. All right. They're going to have like imagine if this if that was the case. Right. If you if you told New Jersey twerk. Right. that if you choke, we're going to dock your pay. You know what would have happened in that third round against Swamp? He would have just wrapped his uh, third round. He would have he would have just recycled bars from his old battles. And said, ah, I got through him. You didn't say nothing about recycling. You didn't say nothing about recycling. You said, if I choke, I don't get paid. Well, I rapped. I rapped the three minutes, and I get paid. Even though I just rapped bars that I spit to Cortez. I just rapped bars I spit to uh, to Sharon. I just rapped bars that I spit to this guy. You didn't say nothing about recycling. All right? We could talk about that next time, I guess. All right? I got through it. I'm just going to, all right? Just, you're just going to usher in the recycling mixtape bars phase. That's all that's going to happen. So what you need to do, all right, is... Take respons you need to take responsibility for yourself on who you're booking, all right? Who are you booking and why are you booking them? Are you booking them because they're the best in the world, because they earned it, because they're winning the battles, because they, they come in prepared, because they're trying hard? Or are you booking them because you, you like them? Or are you booking them because you, you have this fake, false sense that they're these big ticket sellers, all right? Which I, I don't even buy into. I don't not buy into that for one second, bro. I, like, like, are you guys really losing views because New Jersey twerk isn't on a card, bro? Like, come on, bro. Like, this is insane. You guys got to figure it out. And and smack these little rant, these little, I'm going to dock you if you choke rants. Like, I, I don't I don't, I don't, don't think that's the solution here. I think the solution is very clear. The solution is very clear. You don't book them next time. You don't book them next time or you book them for 20. Hey, you choke, you get 25% less next time. You choke again, you get 50% less next time. And we keep going down there. And, and eventually, you're going to owe me money, right? You're going to owe me money. So I don't know, man. Jack Boy, man. 
Uh, he's back, I guess. I can't believe that URL would, I, and it might not even be true. He says that they uh, they reached out to him. It seemed like maybe for a bill collector battle. Now, would I want to see Jack Boy Main come back and be fire? Of course, man. I'm not a hater. I like Jack Boy Main. He's a friend of the show. He came on the show. He was my first interview ever. All right, even though I hate interviews and I've only done like three cents, but <laughs> he was one of my first interviews here. He called me out on Twitter. I don't back down. All right, and then we had a good talk, man, a good talk. And it's and it seemed like he was more level-headed then than he is now. It seemed like after the John John battle, he's he's taking a deep fall, a deep dive into the wrong end of wherever he is. Um, and I, I just I just don't know anymore, man. And, and I would love to see a, a, a fire Jack boy. I think his style is is unique. He's different, and but I mean, he is the his two biggest battle of his career. He didn't just drop the ball; he embarrassed himself, man. All right, he embarrasses himself, man. And there's so many battle rappers that deserve it over over this, man. That that you know, and, and I want to break another myth. People act like this choking thing is like a, a normal thing. It's not normal. The Goonies normalized it. Okay, sure, there used to be people that choked back in the day, like a B Magic, a Charlie Clips, an Arsenal. Um, uh, and, 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 and people like that, right? And, and, and there's been choking since the beginning of Battle Rap, right? But it wasn't normalized. When they did it, it was like, bro, did you see Arsenal pull out his phone? What a bum, bro. What a bum. Get this bum out of here. Charlie Clips used to be the best, used to be the GOAT. We could have considered you the GOAT one day. Now you're a bum. This is how the fans used to react to this, all right? Be magic. What happened to you, bro? Come on, all right? You used to be electrifying and fire, but now you can't get through a battle without stuttering and this and that. Twerk and these guys, they normalized choking. They made it where when you choke, hey, I won two rounds and then I gave you a round. It was fire. I got more moments. I probably won the battle because I got more moments. This is what I'm talking about when I say normalizing. I'm not saying they're the first people to start choking. And, and it's not a normal thing. Most battle, 90% of battle rappers don't choke. And then you're going to bring up, well, everyone choked at the tournament. That's different, bro. First of all, these are newer guys. Second of all, it's a tournament where they only had two weeks to prepare. In a normal battle battle rep setting. Oh, and then Sue Surf also as well. But Sue Surf got, gets killed for it. He got killed for it. I, all I remember is Sue Surf, Sue Surf. Everybody was killing Surf. Okay? He's another one. You know, it might be Jersey. Jersey is the one who normalized it, right? Shotgun Shook is another one. Jersey, 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 Jersey. But twerking them made it where it's like it's cool it's cool to choke that's what i'm talking about where it's not a big deal it is what it is we write our rhymes last minute and so we might choke who cares all right who cares okay and and smack you when 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 surf did what he did against rum nitty and and you applauded him for it all right that was and i told you that then i did a blog then when you applauded him for it then i was like this is the biggest mistake you ever made smack when you applauded surf for doing what he did against Rum Nitty, you said you, you went backstage and you said you gave me enough champ salute. You gave me enough champ salute. And it wasn't a choke. It was a quit. Surf said, I won the first two rounds. I don't need to wrap a third. He didn't even want to start his third. You remember that? He didn't even want to start it. He didn't even want to start it. But he just did it anyways. And then he just jerseyed. Then Smack goes backstage in front of all the battle rappers and said, thank you, Surf. You did enough. I appreciate you, fam. It was recorded. It's on camera, and it's everywhere. So, I don't know, man. I mean, Jack Boy, if you do come back, I I, I will be shocked, and it will go against everything URL's been preaching in the last couple of days. It goes against everything that Smack just said. Am I a man? Am I with giving people second, third chances? Sure, but not over people that deserve it. Not over people that deserve it, bro. And there's so many battle rappers that do never, that never choke, that prepare, that come full, that are exciting, that are fire. And they don't get the chances that these guys get over and over and over and over and over again. It's not one, two, three, four, five. It's like 10, 15, 20 times, bro. That never stops. They never stop getting their chances. And I don't know when it will ever stop. All right. And it's on the URL to, to, to do something about it. And I guess the fans to keep complaining about it until they do something about it. But whatever, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. You, you, Jack, this this rant is on the, the PS, PSA Letterman's uh, web uh, channel. It's got more dislikes than likes, which is funny. But uh, <laughs> love you guys. Peace.